Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In tonight's video, I'm going to show you how to create this forest of trees in a different way. I mean, you could make duplicates and make them smaller and larger and and so on. But I think the possibilities of doing this with other other items is is endless. So all to do this, I I created some trees and I'm not they're individual, so I'm going to group them together. Then I'm going to hit the letter I on the keyboard. I'm going to come up and I'm under sprayer and I'm going to hit add. Then I'm going to go to spray list and here's all my images. I just added this image. I'm not going to play with it. I'm going to remove it. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to remove that. So there's my image that I want to run. That's number nine that I did that larger forest on. And all you do is just draw your line and there you've got a forest sprayed on and what's so neat about this you can change it and you know change this to four you know inches you could you know have it completely different as far as how it's going to draw it and if i was going to do this and making a forest i would still keep you know a few trees duplicate and then you could you could go back and add trees where you think you know you might need a little space there or maybe you need a great big one on the end. But that's pretty neat. And I think the possibilities are endless of what you could do with it. Uh, spraying other items and making like a picture frame of maybe leaves. I might try that and make another video. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.